Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the, uh, the conference opener against Memphis, please. Uh, we expect to see you against Navy and maybe a word or two about uh, Sean Williams' performance on your defense. Thank you. Good morning, Chuck. Um, you know, obviously it's a, a great win for our program uh, against a very, very good Memphis team. Uh, just really proud of our guys, the way we bounced back after, you know, a tough loss in Hawaii um, and where we didn't play very well defensively and to come back against a really good team um, and play really well defensively against a against an offense that has been very, very potent over the years. And, you know, Coach Novell does a really good job. Uh, just proud of the way our guys gutted it out. Um, you know, Memphis also played well on defense against us. And, you know, and I'm just proud of the way our guys continued to fight to the end and we were able to, you know, to get a win at win there at the end. But hard-fought win, really proud of the way our guys played. Um, as you mentioned, Sean, you know, he's a Memphis kid, Sean Williams, so – for him to play that well against, you know, a lot of guys that he knows and grew up with, um, you know, is obviously huge for him. But you know, we need to get. We knew we had to get some turnovers this game. Uh, last year we coughed the ball up five times against them, and so for us to kind of turn the tables a little bit to get four turnovers uh, was huge for us to beat them. I mean, we get four turnovers, and we only win by a point. So it shows you. I mean, we needed every single one of them beat a really good team like that and so again just uh proud of our guys great win and we're excited to start off one and all in the conference but you know obviously like every team does it's monday and so we're pressing forward and getting ready for lehigh big questions for coach kenny matalolo again press star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue and then the operator will introduce you first question will come from brooks cubino from the advocate Hey, Ken, uh, I wanted to ask you about the concept of quarterbacks sliding across the kind of the nation in a way. Um, you know, why is it a bigger deal for conventional passers to worry about sliding than an option quarterback like Perry, or, or is there any difference? Well, obviously in sliding, you're trying to just protect yourself, you know, to keep from getting injured. Uh, you know, we're, when we're running the ball at times, there's still an op 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 option for us to pitch the ball, so – Obviously, that wouldn't be advantageous if we're trying to pitch the ball to slide. But we definitely don't have a problem if, you know, he's uh, in a situation where he's gotten what he could get to either get out of bounds or to protect himself. Um, a lot of it is by nature of who we are as a running team. Uh, but we also try to protect our guy, too. So if he has an opportunity to get out of bounds or not take a shot, I mean, we're definitely uh, okay with that and, you know, would would advise that. Yeah, and I ask because like there's a you know, a, you know conventional passers around that you know run the ball, and then it's it's kind of a common thing for people to say oh slide, but you know it seems like you know, with triple options you know and and things like that with quarterbacks there are they are they kind of in a different vein of athlete that can take some hits in a different way, or or are there guys at conventional levels that can also do the same? No, I just think they're trying to protect the quarterback, you know, and. You know, the people who run the ball with the quarterback are just running, you know, to keep people honest. Uh, obviously, if you got the numbers in the box advantage, you know, with the quarterback, it's the sixth person in there. So it just allows you sometimes from a number advantage because some of your schemes, you got to count for the run, the quarterback to run the ball. Um, and so it's – but they don't want – that's not the primary purpose of the quarterback. Where our quarterback – I mean, we're an option team. He carries the ball <laughs> – 20, 30 times, and so obviously um, he's taking some shots. But if he's on the sideline and has a chance to get out of bounds or maybe not take a shot, we don't have a problem with him sliding. I, I think it's it's not so much uh, the type of athlete or anything. It's just I just think it's just what you're trying to emphasize and trying to protect your guy. But you know, if you run this ball six times or seven times a game, I I can understand why they're trying to maybe slide, but. Our guy carries the ball 30 times, so he's he's getting hit a lot. Um, you know, so we don't really talk much about sliding. We talk about protecting yourself and getting out of bounds. Um, but I really haven't much thought much, you know, why other people don't. Right. Hey, well, thank you, Ken. Thank you. Moving on, we'll take our next question from Bill Wagner from the Baltimore Sun Media Group. 
Uh, Coach, can you talk a little bit about Lehi and kind of how you approach these games against the football championship subdivision schools? Well, you know, for for me, I, I feel like, you know, people talked about, um, you know, last week, you know, it kind of, you know, shows the character of our team and bouncing back and stuff like that. Uh, to me, this week is a big character game for us because we're still the Naval Academy. You know, we're not a football power or anything like that, and we got to recognize that we got to come to play every week, every team, whether you're 1A or, or FBS or FCS. Everybody's got good players. Everybody's got good athletes. Everybody's got good coaches. Everybody's got strength programs. Everybody's got nutrition programs, and so... You know, it'd be obviously very foolish for us to think any differently of who we are, um, and that's always been our approach. Wags, we just we're the Naval Academy. You know, what I mean, we uh, we don't you know act like we're any better than anybody else. We just come to work every every week, and that's got to be our approach this week. I mean, we got to get ready for Lehigh. Um, really good, you know, program. Coach has been there a long time. Um, you know, we're just now starting to watch a lot of their tapes, just like, I mean, Monday. So we're still, you know, devising game plans and those sorts of things. But we got to be ready to come to play and be our best every week. We don't look at our opponents and say, oh, this week we are got to be up for Memphis, down for this team, up for that team. And, I mean, that's that gets you beat. You know I mean? you got to be, be ready to come every week. Well, Villanova beat Temple in the season opener, and this team played Villanova. So, I mean, I think that would be a thing you could point to to your players that you can't take a lower level team lightly. Oh, uh, as we don't, I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> we're the Naval Academy. We don't have to point to anybody. We're the Naval Academy. I mean, we got to bring it every every week. I mean, I, I never use those kinds of stuff. We just, I mean, you got to come every week. You don't look at opponents. You look at your preparation, and you got to be. Um, at your best every week, you know what I mean? That's the only way you can approach it. Um, it the hard part is, you know, and, you know, as Coach uh, Saban would call it, rat poison or whatever, the out, people talk about the outside noise. The hard part is you just can't listen to the outside noise. Players can't listen to anything. People pat you on the back this week. Last week they're, you know, asking you to quit, you know what I mean? And, you just can't listen to that stuff. You just every week you got to prepare and to be your best every Saturday. And that's the only approach that we've ever taken. Um, if you have to try to find, you know, motivational stuff, or whatever, then you're in trouble anyway because you got the wrong mindset. Last for me, uh, in terms of the offense, anything that you would like to see, you know, that you feel coming out of Saturday that needs to get fixed, or do you feel like Memphis just played an incredible defensive game? Oh, no, it's twofold. I mean, they you definitely got to give Memphis credit. You know, so for us to say, oh, it's all us, you know, we you know had a lot of mistakes or we didn't play well, because that's true, we didn't play well, but a lot of it had to do with them. You know, you got to give them their credit. They played really well. So Coach Ball had a really good game plan, and they're, you know the kids played well. Uh, it's not a defense we haven't seen before. I mean, we've seen an A-man front a ton over the years, and it's not so much schematics; it's just how they played. You know, just well disciplined, tough, hard nosed, and we just got to play better. You know, we got to play better. You know, obviously as we as we talk right now, our staffs in there trying to figure out how we can get better on offense. You know, we got to play better. Fortunately, the defense played well enough to give us a shot. Uh, but we definitely have to improve. You know, if we plan on winning this Saturday, we got to get better as an offense. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Wags. Uh, moving on, we'll take our next question from Dan Tatora from WakeUpCallDT.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Hey, Dan. How are you doing? Doing well. Uh, to look at, and you spoke about it a little bit, the team's bounce back after the loss on the road to Hawaii to defeat a strong team like Memphis. Just what you saw as a coach and the character of this team, and if it was something that you kind of expected them to have the capability of doing, or if there was some surprise in how they were able to come back so quickly and get that W. 
Well, you always hope that you'll bounce back, you know, after a loss and play well. And so, you know, I mean, that's mm-hmm. always the expectation. So it was really, you know, gratifying to see that we did bounce back and play really well, especially in special teams and on defense against a really good team. But you never really know. You try your best to coach hard, uh, to try to get your team to recover and to play better and to improve. Um, you know, a lot of things pointed against us. You know, losing that bad, having to travel back, you know, halfway around the world, uh, um, get back. We got back here Monday morning. Uh, we didn't have our pads for our Tuesday practice. I mean, there are a lot of things that we, our kids could have, you know, pointed and used those as excuses. And playing a team that uh, was picked to win our side of the conference, uh, but to the credit of our young men, they didn't. They came to work. They worked as hard as they could, and and they scratched and crawled, clawed for, you know, a tough one-point win against a really good team. So just proud of their resolve and their determination, you know, to come back and bounce back, and uh, I was really happy for them. And then just kind of going off of that, Navy in the fourth quarter, obviously there's a lot of focus around the country on your offense and what you can do with that. But down 21-9, to nine, no points allowed after that, just what you can say about the defensive play and just what stuck out to you in that game? Um, Again, just the toughness of our guys just playing the next play. I mean, it's something that you always try to talk about as a coach. Don't play the last play. Don't play the next play. You know, just play the play at hand. You know, and so when, when you play it, then you move on to the next one. You play that play as hard as you can, then you move on to the next one. And I thought our guys did a really good job of that. They played the play at hand as hard as they could, and then they moved on to the next one. And that's what you got to do in these games. You just got to be able to um, play the next snap. And I was really proud of our guys for doing that. Congrats on the win, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. I'll take one final question for Coach DiMontololo, please. That will come from Mark Narducci from Philadelphia Inquirer Daily News. Hey coach, I wanted to ask you about um, about Sean Williams. Does does he have potential to play beyond beyond the Naval Academy? I mean, I know I know with the commitment and everything, but does he have pro potential? Um, you know, from an athletic standpoint, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm you know I'm a college coach, and I know it's hard to make it in the league. There are obviously a ton of good players, but all I can speak for Sean here, I mean, he's as good a safety as we've had. Since I've been here, he's tough, smart, uh, good athlete. Uh, obviously, uh, here, I mean, you're here to serve our country, and so you have a you have your commitment. But as far as potential wise, um, I mean, all I can see say for what I've seen, what we've had, and he's as good as uh, we've had. But obviously, to make it to the league is a that's a different talent level. So, but I, I don't know. Did you sense? Leading up to the game, that he was a little more excited because, like you said, he's from Memphis and knows knows a lot of these guys. Um, actually, no. I thought he was. If he did, he hit it. Um, you know, I thought maybe the first game in Hawaii, he's a little bit too amped up, and maybe you know, trying to because Sean's a really intense, passionate young man, and he plays everything hard and does everything to the you know, to the best of his ability. I thought this week he was a little bit more subdued in his preparation, probably a little bit more focused, uh, you know, at the job. And obviously he played no game, but um, like I said, I mean, he, he had a really good game, but I think um, there is a – I mean, he was focused, but I don't think I saw him do anything um, – more than he's done in the past. If anything, he probably was um, maybe not as vocal or, or um, outwardly expressive of stuff. He's just a little bit more internal in his focus. And But like I said previous to the previous question, I mean, he's as good a safety as we've had here at the academy. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, thank you for your time this morning. Look, here, look forward to hearing from you again next Monday.